So you can size your duct one of two ways. You can grab your ductilator and do it on your own, or you can let Revit do it. In this case, I'd like to see how Revit does it. I'm going to zoom in on my ductwork. Now, in this case, I'm going to take a couple guesses, and I'm going to see if I'll split my duct. So I'm going to type SL for split. I'd like to see a reducer show up here. And if Revit wants to add one, I want to tell him to add it here. So I'll type SL again, select this piece of duct, pick it. Okay, hit escape a few times. Now hover over any one of these pieces of ductwork on your supply. Hit tab, hit tab again, hit tab again. It's going to select that entire system. Select it. Now let's click on duct pipe sizing right here. Sizing method, we could do it by velocity, friction, equal, or static regain. We'll keep it on velocity at 100 FPM. We'll calculate its size only for branch sizing. Let's click OK. Tap must be attached to a duct, and it's highlighting this tap right here. OK. It sized it. Let's close out of here. Let's scroll into here. Hit escape a few times. Looks like it's attached to me. So that worked out. OK, let's do it for our return now. I'll type maybe this long run will be split somewhere like, I don't know, here. Hit escape a couple times. Notice that we split this duct here, but it didn't really reduce it. It already reduced it. So if I pick a window right around here like that, it'll select our fitting. We'll delete it. Take this piece of duct. Just drag it in so it joins it up. Gives us that same tap warning. I'm pretty sure it was this one, but it looks fine to me, so I think we're good. Let's hover over our return, hit tab, 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 then pick it. Now let's click on duct pipe sizing. Same methods, click OK. Sizing failed, flow for section is zero. Uh, I didn't like it here, OK. I know we put an end cap on it, so all we need to do is basically delete this, finish that connection, and I think we're good. So let's close out of here. Hit escape a few times. It sized it. Didn't care about this, though, so I guess I split it in the wrong spot. I'm going to select that fitting. I'm going to delete it. I'll drag my duct into that duct. Makes it one duct. Now, this was unnecessary anyway, so I'll select delete, select delete, select that and delete it. But we can now turn this T into an elbow. So select that T and see this little minus sign right here. Click it and it turns it into an elbow. So there you go. That's how you let Revit size duct.